What's up, everybody? This is Neil and Gerard with MardoCigars.com, and you're watching Mondays with Mardos. Absolutely. Have you ever smoked a cigar that was so good you didn't want to put it down, but by the time you were done with it, it absolutely put you on your butt? Well, we're going to get into that a little bit. We'll talk about it more in detail. I got a couple examples for you. Me too. <laughs> Okay guys, so we've been in this industry for a couple decades and we've experienced quite a bit with cigars, going down there, blending, things of that nature. So what we want to do is we want to share with you just our experience, our outlook on things, and what we're going to talk about is full strength cigars. But before we get into that, number one, we're going to talk about where do flavors come from, right? So. It depends on the size of the cigar, I think, me. You know, mm -hmm. as we talked about last episode, we had the Lancero and then we had the Gordo. So there's three parts of the cigar. You got the wrapper, you got the binder, and then you have the filler, right? So depending on the ring gauge of the cigar, if you're gonna get, you know, a cigar that's big in ring gauge, you're gonna get more of the filler. Mm -hmm. So to me, I like to use Google. And what I usually do is when I smoke a cigar, like for instance, the Hemingway, I know it's all Cameroon wrapper, right? So when I smoke something else that tastes kind of like a Cameroon, kind of ding, 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 rings a bell in my head, I go to Google, search about the cigar, and I get all sorts of reviews. You have Half Wheel, you got Cigar Coop, you got all these things, and I look at the blend, and I'll see like it has a binder of a Cameroon. I'm like, ah, you know? So that's the kind of flavor that, uh, you know, I like, I like Cameroon, so that's how I find out flavors. What's some of the type of flavors that you like and where do you look for flavors in a cigar? Yeah, everything's subjective, obviously. Like this cigar I'm smoking right here, this is probably about a 50, 48, 50 uh, ring gauge on this thing. You're smoking obviously something that's about a 56-ish, something like that probably. Yeah, it's about a 56, yeah. 54, 56 ring gauge. It's gonna have a lot more filler than that one. Right, so getting to learn about how the cigars are constructed really have begun to teach me about the notes and the strengths of the cigar. First and foremost, the band. I mean, excuse me, the wrapper on the cigar, you're gonna find out a heck of a lot more of the style of wrapper of flavors you're gonna get from it. Now, I like to use analogies because it allows me to wrap my brain around things. The first thing that comes to mind for me is I love going to the movies. I don't know about you guys, but I love them. I do. But <laughs> that being said, like Gerard was just mentioning, there is a ton of critics out there that are movie critics. Now, for me, I like to read my reviews prior to going to my movies, and I try to find the critics that I know have my same style of, of movie. Uh, in so doing, when I read their reviews rather than somebody that I don't even know about, now I can take that to the bank because I've learned the history of how they critique movies. Very similar into cigars. So a lot of these brands, I can think of one comes to mind is Dapper. Now talking to Ian Reith about his blends and the flavor profiles of getting to know his cigars, I can understand his sort of thinking when he's talking about the specific notes and the characteristics of his Dapper sticks and that resonates with me. So full strength cigars in relation to full body cigars, I've learned is vastly different. different. Yeah, and that's what we're gonna talk about next, is right. we're gonna talk about flavor, meaning full body, and full strength, meaning like a lot of nicotine, you know, how much is it gonna kick your butt. Right, so you're smoking a Kaz Dagley right now, yes. which is full of flavor. Strength wise, it's probably medium foolish, medium? I would say right now, I mean, I'm not feeling very, you know, like, getting my ass kicked by it. So this is Daughters of the Wind. It's got more filler in it. I'm kind of babying it a little bit. So I would say this strength-wise, medium, mm -hmm. flavor-wise, full body. Right. A lot of flavor, very complex. And that's the interesting thing which I had no idea about for the longest time. So you can have a full flavored, full bodied cigar, yet it's medium in strength. That, that is kind of like an oxymoron for the longest time. Now some of these blenders, like a Hendrick Kellner as an example. Junior. Junior has the ability to be able to blend some very unique cigars and put these blends together that are really, really knock you off your socks, but it's not full body. So that's something that was pretty amazing to maybe me. Not full strength. Not full strength, excuse me. Yeah, see, even we get mixed up sometimes. Right. And I mean, full body, full strength. Oh, wait, 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 which one's what? So, so, you know, that being said, I remember, shoot, years ago when we started getting, we were heavily involved in Cubans for a long time and all we were smoking were Cubans back in the day and it was a lot of fun. But I remember my first 
Cohiba Cuban Esplendido. It's a big old long sucker. What, about seven inches? A little longer? That's pretty big. It's a big stick. Yeah. And I remember smoking that thing. It was smooth as you could imagine, just right up my alley, what I really like. And smoking that sucker, I'm drawing that thing down. I'm probably about halfway, but I'm taking really big drags, retrohaling through my nose, thinking that, wow, this is full of flavor. I sat back for about five minutes during the course of smoking this stick. You got your ass kicked. I was almost on the floor. I felt <laughs> like I was green. I felt like I was nauseous. I felt like I was about to puke from the standpoint of all the different flavors because it was so full of flavor, even though it was a medium body stick, medium, medium full body stick. Far from a real, real Maduro wrapper or something really spicy. Peppery, really Peppery, strong. which my perception would be of a full-bodied, full-strength cigar. Nothing like that. To this yeah. day, it's still one of my favorite cigars in the world. And it's a very big cigar. So long, if you're very there, long you're cigar. sucking it down. I mean, some guys smoke that thing for two hours. Mm -hmm. you know? We've been talking a lot about uh, Opus X and that raisin type vibe, yeah. which has that, you know, that, that that sweetness, but it's not over the top, almost like a like a licorice raisin, raisin type flavor. And it's really hard to put articulate words to the flavors of these sticks because there's so many different characteristics that make up these sticks. It's a lot of fun. It's a great, great challenge. And it's really exciting to try to figure this stuff out. Yeah, it really is. So for me, what I like to do is retrohale as much as I can. Then again, that's why I get my ass kicked so much by cigars, is because we have four different flavors in our mouth. You have the sour, bitter, uh, sweet, and spicy. But within our nose, you can smell thousands of different scents. So that's why I like to retrohale to really get flavor to, of the cigar. Anyway, what we're gonna talk about next is how to deal with full strength cigars, something that kicks my ass. So we have learned a little tricks of the trade and we're gonna share that with you guys about how to do that. So, Recently, I watched a movie called Hand Rolled, and I think a lot of you guys are very familiar with this movie. It was talking about the industry leaders like Nick Perdomo, Jose Padron, uh, a lot of guys, the Rubenia family, Alejandro Rubenia, his, you know, his uh, legacy and all that stuff. So these guys were talking about the first time they smoked a cigar, they nearly puked, and that's been my experience too. The first time I smoked a cigar, um, <clears throat> we're in the backyard, this was Gosh, I, don't know, I was 19 years old and I could not stand this thing. You know, it was pretty nasty. I was like, Dad, what, what do you see enjoying in this cigar? He said, Hold up, hold your horses, kid. And he went into the kitchen, he came out, and he had a tray of watermelon that was already cut up in the refrigerator. He said, Now, for every time you take a drag and it's nasty, he said, Take a bite of the watermelon. And when I did that, it really tamed everything down. And I took another drag of the cigar. I was able to tolerate it. So I started seeing what the what this was all about, thus began my journey of smoking cigars. So when I smoke a cigar that I know is gonna be in full strength because it's got a lot of Lee Hero in it, it's got a Maduro wrapper, it just looks stout, I'm gonna take a Coca-Cola with me, I have some sips of it, and therefore I'm gonna re be replacing the nicotine in my bloodstream with some sugar. So we're gonna get into some different styled cigars, different flavored cigars, full body cigars, full flavored cigars, full strength cigars. Right. Gerard's gonna go over a few of these in just a second. But again, that's what a great thing about this industry is, is there's such a broad spectrum of great blenders and great cigar companies out there. Some of them are very boutique, which is hard to get on the mainstream where some of these big conglomerates have been out there for a long time. Yeah. Uh, when we get to know a specific blender, that we begin to like, anytime they come out with something new, you're pretty much running, almost like when a new album comes out or a new movie comes out, you wanna be first in line to get it because you're very familiar with their blending type. Some of these boutique companies are coming out with some amazing cigars and getting to know those small boutique companies have been something we've really been enjoying. So tell them about a handful of these sticks that is also available all the time at martocigars.com. So one of the first cigars that comes to my mind is the last Cabo Maduro Limited Edition 2018. Now this cigar has been sitting for over a year. Right. This is a Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro mm -hmm. with a bunch of different Lajeros in the blend. Mm -hmm. It's a very big cigar. So to me, I rate this as a full body and full strength cigar. Reason being is that it has a lot of Lajero, so you're gonna get a lot of flavors. But since there's a lot of Lajero, you're gonna get a lot of strength out of it too. Right. So it's gonna have that pepper, it's gonna have that um, spiciness in there. It's a lot of cigar too, so it's gonna take about an hour and a half to two hours every time. Right. So that's a lot of smoking, right? So that's why I'm gonna say this is gonna be full strength. Uh, number three cigar of the year from Foundation, the Wise Man Maduro. Uh, Maduro wrapper, full strength, full body, 
and that one also is on top of the list for me as a full strength, full body cigar. You got Dapper Cigar, the El Baracho, they have it in the natural and also in the Maduro, and it's gonna be a full body, full strength. A lot of the My Father product is also full strength and full body, and the list goes on. You're like the more of the buttery, creamy type of cigar that have more of a medium strength. So I wanna hear not only from you, but I also wanna hear from you guys in the comments of what is your favorite go-to cigar and what do you do? Golf, do you tinker around the tool shed, whatever it is. So let us hear about it. So anybody out there that has a humidor of any kind, I can almost guarantee you guys have a wide variety of cigars in your humidor because you're not a one trick pony like us. We like to enjoy different types of cigars, find new stuff, and every now and then, like this last cowboy, something will knock you off your socks that if, you, if I didn't have an open mind about it, I might not have ever tried it. So that's what we like to do, that's what I really like to enjoy, is a wide variety of all these different tobaccos coming from different blenders and companies that keep us tuned in to find out what's coming out next, because you know a lot of stuff is. Kaz Dagley, Hendrick Kellner Jr. Uh, blends a heck of a good cigar. This is Daughters of the Wind. Daughters of the Wind. Unbelievable stick. A lot of their blends are, are, are they do not skimp on quality. If they're only going to be able to come out with a thousand sticks, that's all they're coming out with because they really, really put a lot of attention to the detail in the blending of that so stick. So you rate this full body, medium strength? Medium, medium strength, full body, full flavor. Um, what else do you like? The Dapper. Uh, Kubo Claro, same type of situation. Also unbelievable flavor, not over the top, very complex, full flavored, but medium stick. That's right up my alley. The Last Cowboy Limited Edition, as we talked about, that's something I'll definitely go to. There's some stuff coming out, probably in the middle of September, hopefully if all goes well, it's the Jake Wyatt Maduro, called mm -hmm. the Herbert Spencer. Yeah. And that sucker right there, which, which again, I'm more of a Connecticut type of guy, sun grown, uh, Habano Rosado type wrapper. This is a San Andreas wrapper, but the blend in this thing keeps the cream to it. It almost has a hint of the, the Cohiba 5 Henio. Is that what it's called? Maduro 5. Cohiba Maduro, Maduro, Maduro 5. 5 Henio. And I'm telling you, this thing is smooth as can be, which is unlike a lot of Maduro sticks that are out there in the marketplace today, which have a lot of strength, a lot of pepper, a lot of spice, which I, I do enjoy some of those. But this had the full full body, full flavor, but it's about a medium full in regards to strength. And why I say that is I could take a big drag, I have the flavor from that San Andreas wrapper, but the blend still has the complexity to have that smoothness and that creaminess coupled with that San Andreas wrapper. <laughs> it's an unbelievable stick. That's right up my alley. So you guys definitely gotta try that one as well. Lastly, one thing that's been one of my favorites out of the gate, obviously the Paul Garmerian, the PG, which is also blended by Hendrik Kellner, and that sucker is a medium full stick, full flavor throughout. That sucker right there is something that's a go-to for me all the time. It's all, I always want it in my humidor, I always want it in my golf bag, I always want it everywhere I go, because it's something I can lean on, I know precisely what I'm gonna get, and I know you guys have your go-to sticks out there as well. So those are a handful of sticks we like, Many of these are all available on martocigars.com right now. Make sure you use your Marto Money Rewards. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Make sure to share this video. Make sure to like it. Hit that bell so you can be notified on all of our future videos coming out. This is Neil and Gerard signing out on Mondays with Martos, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye.